Unfortunately, I just missed your takeaway by about hundreds of a second, okay? But as we said, right, right. what we're trying to do is get your posture and your spine angle a bit more tilted, okay? You can see when you were setting up here now at address, the hips were level and there was a bit of a curve there in your spine, okay? Mm. If we can get your pelvis to tilt backwards, okay, or sorry, pelvis to tilt down, your hips to go backwards, it will get you in a position whereby you can actually get to the golf ball mm. and you're not having to go up and down with your posture like a yo-yo. Mm. What would happen when you played a lot of golf, you found or figured out where the ball was, you hit some reasonable shots. But on a consistent basis, it's going to be 50-50 at best. Mm. And if you're not playing much, it's not going to work. Yeah. Secondly as well, now as you start playing more, it's going to put pressure on your back. Yeah. Okay. And then from a longevity point of view, yeah. if you both start want to play golf now, you might play a couple of times a week. Maybe once of an evening after mm. when you're back in whatever, yeah. or once after work on it, or weekends. If your back is hinged and curved this way, and when you swing a golf club, your arms go quite high and the hips go forward even more. So as you hit the golf ball here now, your spine, sort of your body going up and rising up this way as you hit the golf ball, your back's putting a lot of due stress, and then the hips trying to twist at the same time. Somewhere down that line, yeah, it's not good. your back's going to go Ooh, one yeah. day, <laughs> and then you're going to be playing golf thinking, oh, pop the old. And, and the guys I give lessons to, and I hate the fact they do is they're popping eye broken every tee shot. They're on the first tee, popping three or four pills to go and play golf to get the pain away. Yeah, you shouldn't yeah. be playing golf doing that. No. That's, you, you've got to get yourself in a position where your back is going to function better, okay? And you can see when you get to the top of the back swing here now. Look at the difference in your right elbow there. Now, now you can turn better. Look at that right elbow. That now is now level with your shoulder, oh, yeah. whereas that one now is quite high. Yeah. Okay, so a better back swing position now mm -hmm. as you came back to the golf ball. Lovely strike. A nice balanced through position. Hitting the ball down the range there. Lovely. So a nice under control swing. Your body's not moving up and down so much. So from a consistency standpoint, it's going to improve. Yeah. From a health issue it's going to improve and for me I, in some ways teach a lot of people my main focus a lot of golfers is to get their swing healthy yeah i would rather in some ways maybe hitting the ball 10 yards less yeah. or not putting as much speed into it but mm. swinging the club healthily so you can repeat that over and over again yeah. and play two three four five whatever games a week yeah. you go around golfing holidays which you might do i don't know yeah. you have four or five games in a row yeah if by day three you're going oh sorry how you, you go and play and sit in there and yeah, thing can't, back. can't move. Oh, exactly. That's not fun, that's is no it? Because golf, it? You're, again, you guys are taking the game of golf to try and enjoy yourself and have some social fun together mm -hmm. rather than being, oh, it's going to be bloody in pain. It's not mm -hmm. contact sport golf, is it? So it shouldn't, no, it shouldn't exactly. hurt you, okay? So better posture, pelvis tilt down more, get you back in a better position we can rotate. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's lovely, thank you. Excellent, good stuff.